Welcome back to Photoshop with Matt. This is our second video in our series, Advanced Techniques on Silk Screening from Photoshop. So, you got the artwork done. Now what? How do you get it to the uh, silk screen machine? How do you do it yourself? Where do you send it to? All of the above answered in this video. Check it out. All right, so we have Jared Leto here. Let's take a look at what it's gonna look like on a shirt. First thing I like to do is take the artwork, make sure there's a transparent background, and hit Shift, Control, Alt, plus E to make a separate layer with everything combined. So I have it over here, and I'm going over to a Go Media Pack and dropping my artwork on here. Let's take a look at what it's gonna look like on a white shirt. Make sure it's sized right, make sure things look good. Um, here we go. <laughs> Squad goals. Still makes me laugh. Looks great. Okay, I don't really see any blaring flaws or things that we need to edit too much. Um, although, something I think that will look kind of neat is let's combine all of our lettering into a group. You select everything, hit Control G. I'm gonna name it lettering, hit enter, and something that would look kinda of neat is, let's zoom in so it looks like he's biting on the U. I think that'd be really cool. Move it up just a hair, hit the uh, uh, this button, square with the circle, layer mask, that's the right word. Make sure it's on solid, make it a little bigger, press X to get to between the black and white, black deletes it out, white adds it back, in. Great. It looks like he's chomping down on the U. I love it. I, I like those little tweaks when someone adds out on a shirt or a design. Like the little things you just might not pick up. They're like my favorite. Anyways, let's work on first doing this. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is you have to have some kind of markings to line it up. So if you're, I'm just going to assume that you're going to be doing this in your garage with four silk screens, okay? Um, what you have to do is you have to have some way to get the silk screen down on the shirt perfectly on every single color. And so it's kind of hard to do eyeballing it. So one thing I like to do is I like to add in little tiny markings so that wherever you have the silk screen, it'll line up on the markings and you know that will fit. Because it'll be hard to get the little bit of hair just perfect unless you know where the markings are. So first thing is first, let's go ahead and just make a, a random shape. Um, you can really do anything you want. Some people do a circle with a plus sign in the middle. I'm just gonna do a quick scribble, uh, make a new layer, go straight down, go straight down, and I'm just gonna kinda do that. Um, that's a good marking. And then all you have to do, hold down Alt, hold down Shift, drag it over, select both layers, hold down Alt, then hold down Shift, and drag it down. And you're done. <laughs> That's it. That's all you have to do for markings. You can make it more inconspicuous, smaller, bigger, uh, whatever shape. You can do your initials. It doesn't really matter. Just get these in. Oh, something to keep in mind. Don't make them too thin because when you're burning the image into the silk screen and you try to spray it out, it might not come out right. So make it a little bit thicker just in case. And you can always put masking tape on the bottom to prevent um, the ink to go through. Um, okay, so that looks good, and that's going to be, we're just going to merge that, control E, markings, don't touch that layer again, <laughs> leave it alone. Okay, <clears throat> so with a font, we can't have random colors right now, because we need everything to be a solid color. All right, so the first thing we want to do is select the background coloring. Um, and so what we're gonna do now is separate all the layers based on color, and we don't want extra color behind like the font. We just want it to be cut out. We don't want to print out all his tattoos behind that font. It's gonna look weird, especially when you do the color over the top because the black will come through it. So we just wanna go ahead and cut that away now. All right, first things first, merge everything together. So turn every layer on that's on, and then hit Control, Shift, Alt, E, make a new layer. And this is what we're gonna be working with for the duration of time. All of our art is 
uh, fine below. So if we need to make an edit, just leave it, don't touch it. It's good. Okay, so in the new layer, first things first, let's go ahead and select all of the dark image. Rename that background black, because we want to remember what color we're going to actually be using, because every single layer is going to be black from now on, because when you print it out, you have to print it out black. Okay, make that, make sure it's, click this button to zero out to black and white, and hit the paint bucket. So that's background black, turn that off. Let's go ahead and select the purple. Go ahead and select the purple. New layer. <clears throat> Put glove purple and paint bucket, fill that out as black, turn that off, go to our layer, let's select the hair, all right, new layer, hair green, whoops, extra B in there, green doesn't, where is it, add an extra E, hit enter, paint bucket that in as black, hide it. Then lastly, let's go ahead and hit squad goals. Select that. I keep going down too far. Okay, uh, lettering, uh, multi-color, hit enter. Then paint bucket, fill that as black. All right, let's turn our image off and let's see what we got. Perfect. Everything needs to be black and every, every color is included. His hair is included up here, his gloves included there, the squad goals and the background. So now all you have to do is when you go to print it, you turn on one layer at a time and press print. Um, how you get this printed and you go to your garage is you go ahead and select the background, have the marking, select, marking selected in, and then what you're going to print on is not just like a piece of paper, but a transparency paper. You can get them at Staples, Office Depot, Walmart maybe. Um, just look around at a paper supply store and you print it out on this clear piece of paper kind of thing. It's like plastic and it prints out all black and then you have to go to a silk screener, put it on there, and then they'll burn it into the image. One of the best pieces of advice I can give you is with the markings, is when you put it onto the silk screen to burn that image into it, measure the markings from the bottom and the sides and make sure they're all the exact same distances on every silk screen. Why? Because when you put it in a four press machine, what it has like four units sticking out, you can put all the different four colors in there, snap it in, and then when you put your shirt down, it'll automatically go to the exact spot every single time. And you don't have to worry about trying to hold it and get it just right, it'll be perfect. Another pro tip is uh, make sure, make sure, make sure that when you do your font in a different color, squirt the different color on the screen in the spots that you want those colors. If you squirt it all at the top, it'll make a rainbow effect but if you fill up the gaps with different color and put different color on top and then push it down and then squeegee it, it'll put the color right where you want it. Um, so again, it's a fantastic fun time. That's really all that you need to know how to set it up. So you print this out, then go to the next layer, print this out, it's the glove, bring that in, click the next one, that's the hair, click the next one, that's the font. This has been Photoshop with Matt. I hope you learned some stuff today on advanced techniques on silk screening with Photoshop. I mean, I just wanna say thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the new likes, comments. Um, if you have any suggestions, ideas, um, things you wish you knew how to do in Photoshop, leave a comment below. I love to teach, I love to film, I love to put it up on YouTube. It's so much fun. I mean, I never would have dreamed that I had would have over eight views on any of these videos. I would have figured just people I knew would have watched it and then, oh, good job, Matt. But man, it's, it's awesome seeing hundreds of views. That's crazy. Thank you so much. Um, if you have anything else you want to say, please comment below. Uh, we'll see you later.